Hi, so all of you are preparing for your class 10th board examinations and one subject that you really want to score well is mathematics. Now in my last 10 years of career counseling experience, I have counseled over 17,000 students and what I've realized is that all of us have some feeling for maths. Either it is the feeling of hatred or it is the feeling of love. But most of us realize that this is the most scoring subject and we really want to score well. In this video, I have few tips for you on how you can score well in your class 10th board mathematics paper. In part 1, we will be talking about what is the structure of your maths paper. And in part 2, we will talk about how you can allocate your time well so that you can score the maximum with the minimum possible effort in the maths paper. So now let us talk about the structure of your mathematics paper. Your maths paper is of 100 marks out of which 20 are for internals. And we are really not bothered about internals because I am very sure your school will be lenient and you will also score well in your internals. Let us focus on those 80 marks that we will face in those 3 hours in the board examination. Your 80 marks paper will be divided into 4 sections. Section A, B, C and D. Section A will be objective type questions of 1 marks each. Section B will be very short answer type questions of 2 marks each. Section C will be short answer type questions of 3 marks each. And Section D will be the long answer type questions of 4 marks each. The great part for 2020 is that there are more number of internal choices in the paper. We will have 2 questions in Section A, 2 in Section B, 3 in Section C and 3 in Section D for internal choices. And I am sure you will be able to choose the best choice possible for you to score well out of these internal choices available. So in this section, let us focus on the syllabus of your mathematics paper. Your maths paper comes out of 7 units, which means that I have 7 units to study for those 80 marks. But the beautiful part is, CBSE does specify as to how many marks will be tested from what kind of unit. So we really need to play well with that so that we can focus on getting maximum marks out of minimum effort. What are those 7 units? Number systems, algebra, statistics and probability, coordinate geometry, geometry, trigonometry and mensuration. Now for your benefit, I am dividing these 7 units into easy, difficult and that section which requires more practice. Now the easy chapters are number systems, algebra, statistics and probability and coordinate geometry. Now if assuming you are spending 80 hours of study for 80 marks, then you should ideally spend about 40 hours on these four chapters or these four units which are number systems, algebra, statistics and probability and coordinate geometry because by studying for 40 hours you will be able to complete 52.5% of your marking scheme. This is what is very important. Please understand about maths. It is not supposed to be making you scared. Maths is a scoring subject and to score well on paper is different than being good in class. You need to be a good test taker. If you are a good test taker, you will be able to score really, really well on your maths paper. Let's now go on to the section which requires really lengthy practice. So geometry and trigonometry are two chapters that you really need to spend lot many more hours of practice. So while for practicing first four chapters which I mentioned, which are easy chapters, we required 40 hours. For these two chapters, which is geometry and trigonometry, you will actually realize that you need 24 hours in itself for just these two chapters. But when you look at now the six chapters, the first four easy ones and the two ones which I'm talking about right now, geometry and trigonometry, you will be able to complete 88% of your syllabus in 64 hours. That's correct. Your 88% of the marks out of those 80 marks is out of these 64 hours. Lastly is mensuration. Now this is one chapter or one unit which really bothers most of us. Simply because it's very difficult to visualize a picture and it's more difficult to remember all the formulas in mensuration, the surface areas and everything. So what you need to do is, please keep mensuration as a chapter for the last and spend 16 hours for these 10 marks. Once you spend 16 hours in these 10 marks, you will realize that you would have been able to do mensuration and remember the formulas right before the examination. Now my last tip is, please manage your time well. 
फॉलो माई एडवाइस फॉलो द मार्किंग स्कीम गो एंड रीड द चैप्टर वेल एंड प्रैक्टिस दम वेल एंड आई एम श्योर यू विल स्कोर रियली वेल इन मैथ्स